Glacier, well guaranteed hit, bro. Ah, done. And again, let's go. <laughs> guaranteed hit. Ready? Boom, we go again. <laughs> and another guaranteed hit. Go for it for the fourth, baby. Let's go. We got all four. Oh my God, this deck is just stupid. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the sponsor of the channel, PDCGO Store, where you can buy codes with 5% off using a discount code FTW. It's a way to support the channel whilst getting something in return, so why not? Now, with that said, let's get going. This deck plays 31 energy, and it involves Kyoga. But it's probably not what you think. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> to answer the question, is this a Kyoga Cryagonal deck? No, it's Kyoga with Kurum V Max. This list did very well on Limitless. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, I didn't see it myself. It was on stream where I played against this deck that my viewers brought it to my attention that this did well and is starting to make some <laughs> waves. <laughs> so what exactly is going on here, Sean? Okay, well, let me explain. First off, we have Kieran V Max with that Glaciated World. Once during your turn, you may discard the top card of your deck. If it's a water energy, attach it to any of your Pokemon. So we just play four of these. And with 31 water energy, odds are you're going to be hitting that every single time. So how do we get four into play as quickly as possible? Well, you play four Adventures Discovery and four Irida. Not only that, you play three Forest Seal Stones as well as three Battle VIP Pass. And then add in a couple of texts like Escape Rope, Picnic Basket to sort out the Sableye numbers. For some reason, one Nest Ball and a Lost Vacuum. Then you pretty much have the deck. Now for consistency, we have Radiant Greninja being able to discard a water and draw cards. Obviously, you're going to be using that pretty much every single turn. And on top of that, you can attack with the Greninja multiple times, which is pretty good. So you have Cure of Max being able to charge herself up very quickly, taking massive big hit KOs with that Max Frost being able to do 50 more damage for each water energy you discard from it and 120 on top. Meaning in three discards, you're getting to 70 and one more on top is 320, which is one at KOing V Maxes, V Stars and the like. Which with four Cure and V Max in play and 30 energy is not difficult. Okay, so let's say you, so you come up against Lost Box. You don't need to do the big hit KOs. Well then, as we said, Greninja. Just get Greninja going and repeat Moonlight Shuriken very quickly. And of course, the aforementioned Kyoga. So <laughs> you can late game Aqua Storm and cause some incredible devastation. Of course, the odds of you hitting the Aqua Storms are very high because again, 31 energy. And that is the deck. Look how simple it is. But my God, does it perform? Let's just get into the game and start going full degenerate, shall we? Oh, this is looking like a nice juicer of a hand, baby. That's what we like to see. Okay, let's get going. So are we going first? That's what I want to know. I didn't pay attention at the start because I got excited. Um, <laughs> so I have no idea if we're starting here, but either way, the hand's looking absolutely stunning. We are even... Oh, this is just it, bro. This is this is it, bro. Two VIPs? Oh, yeah, now you just show me the love today, my friend. Here we go. Um, let's get you down, and we'll even, just for the fun, we'll get ourselves... We'll get another Kyogre down. Let's do that, hey? Let's have some fun with it. And we'll concealed cards for probably two water energy. Oh, well, tell me about that. Okay, so attach water and just end turn, right? And they're going to know none the wise. And they're going to have no idea what's going on. They're just going to do their typical setup play. You know, that's what they're going to do. It's fine. It's absolutely fine. We could be very cheeky here and maybe try and pull off a Greninja. I don't think that's going to happen, though. I think what we need to do next turn is Adventure Discovery, just get our Kyurums out and get going, right? And then we start trying to get techie. Then we start trying to go for the readers for, like, an escape rope to set up a Kyogre or to set up a Greninja. Um, I'd love to be able to Greninja, like, uh, two Rolts or two Curlias out of the out of the picture. But, you know, if it's not the case, it's fine. One thing we got to watch out for, of course, is the Zacian with the stone. Super deadly. I've always said now, I like the idea of just throwing two Zacian, two Sky Seal Stone in a Gardevoir because the prize trade you get in most matches with it is outrageous. It's just so good. It's like, let me just KO a two prizer and a V-Star, right? KO a Luminion and an Arceus V-Star. KO a Luminion and a Giratina V-Star, you know? It, it's really, really, really good, in my opinion, at the very least, especially looking at the top tier. I mean, Lugia, take out Lugias. Yeah, it's just too good. It's too good. The Sky Seal Stone in this is, is outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Uh, right, they're going to conceal cards. They got Manaphy down, so we can't be too tricky with it. Um, but it looks like the Zacian might stick in the active, which is a good thing. Um, that's fine. So look, the fact that we have Manaphy to deal with, right? It's okay, right? This Kyogre is a thing you can do, but isn't a thing you must. 
right? That's what I like about this deck. It, it, it's not doing all that nonsense. Right, for sure, I think we seal stone here for an, an Avengers Discovery. We have to, right? We've got the three. Yeah, that's... Oh, four Kira on turn two. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> oh, I just feel wrong. Oh, look at this board state. Oh, oh no. Oh, I love it, but I don't like it. You know what I mean? It's like a... It's a love-hate thing. You know, guilty pleasure. Glaciated, well, guaranteed hit, bro. Ah, done. And again, ready, ready, ready. Guaranteed hit, bro. Go on. Let's go. <laughs> and again, ready. Guaranteed hit. Ready? Boom, we go again. <laughs> and another guaranteed hit. Go for it for the fourth, baby. Let's go. We got all four. Oh my God, this deck is just stupid. 30 energy. No wonder you're getting this kind of stuff. And that's in straight Oko. Straight Oko. We only need to get rid of two. Two. Because it's 220, baby. And we got this energy just chilling. Oh, it's disgusting. It is disgusting. Nah, bro. <laughs> no. Just mowing things down. Kiram coming back with a vengeance, bro. Everyone thought Kiram has gone now. We've lost the rank guru. Ah. Uh, so a couple of um, interesting cards you could add. Switching cups. Add one of them, right? If you, if you need a guaranteed hit, right? So I need like one energy guaranteed hit, which happens a few times. So, read up, switching cup, bang, done, right? Because you're going to have energy in hand most of the time. Apart from us, apparently, we just we just win that, win like that. Um, maybe a one boss's orders or something to like boss up a Manaphy. Um, I don't know. The, but the more you kind of tech these cards in, right, um, the lesser... Uh, the less energy you get, therefore, the less like you hit. So you've got to be super careful, right? Which is why you only see one of Vacuum, one of, um, you know, one of the, the Picnic Basket, which I didn't understand fully enough, and you, you'll see me discuss that on stream. But um, it, apparently it's to fix Sableye numbers a lot. So that, there's that, like, you've got to be super careful with your one of item cards that you play because it can be dangerous. Right, we're going to Arena now for a Kyoga and a... I've never seen a path to the peak in a Gardevoir, but in case, right? Just in case, let's start going again. <laughs> oh, we just keep hitting them. Um, I want to be prepared for another one. So we're just going to go and get another one loaded up, I think, for the time being, right? These are going to be all guaranteed. No, okay, that's fine. And what's great, right, is the stuff you discard with Glaciated World. If you're at this point, it doesn't really matter. It's like, okay, I'm just sitting in my deck now, increasing the odds for Glaciated World to turns, off, turns after. So it doesn't matter so much. That is one or two that would be like, okay, it'd be nice to have and not this guy, like the picnic and the rope. But other than that, bro, I mean, you know what I mean? We're just hitting them. There we go. And we go in KO yet again. The oppression, I think, is what's going to help us here. Because the Guard of Art, of course, takes time to set up and punish you later on in the game, right? Late game is deadly. But if we just take KOs every turn, right? quick, fast, you know, how long are they going to have to get to the position where they, that, that they want to get to, right? And and sort us out, right? We now need to just take three KOs on single prizes. If they dare to bring up a two-prizer, it's it's deadly, right? It's absolutely deadly. Now, this shouldn't be too much of an issue if they bring up Mewtwo. That's, a, that's an easy three-prizer for us. So them wanting to do that is questionable, but they can. If they get to a, a V-Union position, I... If I were them, I wouldn't go for V-Union right now, right? I would not do it because as soon as that comes up, you lose, right? It's just going to happen. You can want it. You can't even want it KO this Kurum without a choice belt, right? Uh, oh, hello. Um, here's where it can get dicey, but I think we'll still be fine. Even if they go for a Steel Stone and Zacian, we come in, return KO, one prize left remaining. They have to take two. Uh, which means they can't KO the Kyogre or Greninja for game. What are they going to do? You know, <laughs> what are they going to do? Okay, so there's Forest Steel Stone, not Sky. So that's kind of good for us. Everything else is, we're good. We're absolutely Gucci now. I don't see a way that we can lose. I really don't. There's a Sinnoh, that's fine. And it's really good for this on the ladder right now because of the fact that Gardevoir's all over the place. And you're not really going to run into Path to the Peak so much. That said, you're going to see a game after this where we do get pathed quite a bit. 
and we still managed to work around it. So, interestingly enough, the deck can just work. It's so... I, I don't get it, bro. It's like you have to play full path to deal with it. It's like... <laughs> one of them ones. Really one of them ones. Absolutely nuts. And it, yeah, it's full degeneracy. Really brings me back to the crazy Kyogre uh, Cryagonal deck. Um, you know... Brings me back to it, man. Absolutely. Um, but just has this massive Curum now as a way to just... Oko actives. The moment the Manaphy drops, it's like, okay, we'll just steamroll. We'll just push and push. It's outrageous. Right, they are at, what is that, three in the discard pile there? Okay. Sure thing, Chief. Get a power pad now. I think now, though, it's, it's an inevitable disaster that you are facing, my friend. We are nature. Yeah? I am nature. And you cannot control me, all right? It's happening. Yeah? Call me Thanos. Still only three pieces. Judge, fine. Not a big deal. Probably just getting a ton of energy. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Oh, bro! We're just not getting energy, which is kind of good. Because it means our Glaciated Wells are more, are more likely to hit, obviously. Bro, like 20 of my cards in my deck are probably energy. So, yeah. That's cool. That's absolutely cool. And what I could do now is... I don't even think Burning the Adventures Discovery matters right now. Because we've got all, everything. I think we've got all Pokemon out of the deck. So the only cards that's going to thin out deck now is Irida. And we ain't got them, so... But it's going to attach him. Roar the so Oh! Brother! Yoikers! Yoikerino! Alright, fair. Well, I think... <laughs> I think we're in a pretty good position, if you were to ask me. <laughs> um... I'm going to Glaciated Well. I'm not going to Glaciated Wild. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to Max Frost. Reason being is I don't want to overdo it. And you never know. They could just try an active six something for a turn or two, right? And I ain't got time for that. Yeah, we got... We got time that we ain't, we ain't going to want to waste here. So... Oh, no, maybe I should have because now I just... Oh, that was just dumb, isn't it? I could just carry the good... Okay. I got carried away. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a for the win video without something like this happening. <laughs> okay, it's just forget about it. It's just forget about it. It's fine. It's fine. They're only gonna oko me, and then yeah, it's, it's okay. It's all right. It's okay. I was giving them a chance. All right, I'm trying to add a, add a bit of tension to the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't mean it. Uh, okay, collapse stadium. I thought they were playing that, but that's gone. I should have just discarded one energy, bro. I had... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, okay, sometimes it just gets carried away, you know? You just get a little bit carried away and it gets a bit dicey. <laughs> oh, no. You get a refinement, mate. Go on, sort your life out. There we go. Serena, that was a gust option. I thought their best bet right now would be to gust me. But they're just not. I mean, we're not, we're not like in, a, in a, a bad position on the ladder, right? You know, I'm currently 1,020, which mid, right? We say mid, you know, that's, that's mid, right? Just below mid tier. Um, but we've got a lot of people chilling at this rank on the ladder. You know, I was watching a Azul Switch stream the other day. I think he's at like 900 or something. Like the, the current radar, The current ladder rank, not radar. Bro, new word invented? Um, doesn't have anything to do right now with skill. Over time, that will start to happen, though. But does the... Uh, genuine question, though. Does the ladder genuinely reset you down to, like, zero? Or not? Depending on where you go. Because I think at the end of a, at the end of a ladder... Right, for those who don't know, a ladder is basically the time... The, the, that, that ranked ladder, they say, and, you know, in, like, six weeks, it, it, re it ends, yada, yada. I don't think you should be reset... I don't think that's fair. I think if you get to Arceus, you should stay there. You know? I think that's right. I think that's what a true rank is. You know? I don't think you should reset rank. That's ridiculous. Reset the ladder. Fine. Uh, battle pass and all that jazz. But resetting rank... If I get to Arceus, I don't want to sit here and go, oh, great, I'm going to go back down to Great Ball or something at the end of uh, this rank. It's like... It's false progression. I love how this... Look, sorry. I know this has become a discussion video all of a sudden, but my Donnie's out here taking, you know eons to, to, to play their game. So I'm just going to have a little talk with you in the process, you know? <laughs> Good idea. I can't control that. Um, all right. Should we uh, correct my mistake here? I'll just attach an energy here. 
and just uh now we take the ko okay all right fine fine there we go there we go they'll come out to ko me and i'll just respond with a ko and that's pretty much it unless they do some crazy stuff that i'm not seeing right now but i can't see anything crazy happening i can't still down a mutv union piece so they can't try and be union anything like that no i think we're looking fine yeah um bro I should not work so hard to get to Arceus to then be reset to another point to make it fake, to fake the idea that I'm constantly progressing. No, 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 no. What you do is you have the Arceus rank, right? At whatever level it is of, of, of CP, championship points, right? And just have that be the top rank and then just let the ELO number continue. But the, 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 I, I call it CP, championship, uh, sorry. I guess it, I guess it makes, no, because CP is championship points, right? For like... I'll call it RP, rank points. There we go. Let's coin that now, lads and ladies, while we're here. RP, rank points. When I say RP from now on, you know what I mean. They're trying to stick us. We saw that happening. Let the RP just continue to grow, right? So to Arceus, I think it's like 2,300 or something. Let Adoni get to 10K, right? That's an ELO. I spat. Oh my God. That's when I'm excited. Um, <laughs> don't take that out of context. <laughs> oh no. Do not clip that. Um... Let, it, let the ELO continue onwards forever, right? And see who... And, and then, you know, if someone gets to like 10k, you know they're the real... Like, they are they are it, bro. You know? And let it be like if you lose a game, it's minus 20. If you win a game, plus 20. Whatever. So it's not just you grind and therefore you get the max rank. It's like, no, it, like you have to be good. And then match people off like 10k versus 10k. Have that ELO, bro. We see that in real competitive games and it's so fun. Like, I'll use Counter-Strike as an example. You go to Face It, which is like, you get to the highest rank in the actual game, and then you go to this third-party site that has higher rankings. Oh my god, I've just got a business idea. Remember that for me. In fact, to be fair, I probably won't be able to implement it. Anyone who's good at coding and making websites, there's an idea for you. Make a third-party rank site for TCG online. You'll be sorted. Ah! We failed? No, 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 no. That ain't gonna happen again. There we are. There we are. I might have to speak to some people. <laughs> Can we do that? Is it possible? <laughs> Is it going to happen? Uh, all right, that's game. <laughs> A long-winded one, unfortunately. But hey, they, they tried. But as we said, we are nature. Inevitable. Done. What a beautiful yet disturbing deck. Huh? Wild. Wild. All right, here we go. No mulligans. The amount of mulligans you, you, you'd expect to get with this deck is crazy. And would you look at that? Seven energy and an arena. <laughs> this has to be with one of the worst starts, no? Because usually you want to go second, VIP pass. You can just rapid freeze. Rapid freeze is cracked turn two, bro. Because rapid freeze reads attach any number of energy cards from your hand. Water energy to your Pokemon anyway you like. So you can go ahead and just throw a bunch of basic water energy into play immediately. And just turbo accelerate the, ne the next turn. Um, but that, you know, that's that. Um, anyway, they're coming off here. We could technically get a one-hit KO on this Giratina next turn, which is wild. If they leave it in the active, it's very aggressive, but we can do it. Attach, evolve, Glaciated World, KO. Like, we can do that. Um, so we'll have to see. I, I expect that they don't want to leave this Giratina. They're probably not going to do that. That's fair. We would want to instead go for a Greninja onto these two comfies. But the fact that the start has been a bit bad means we might not have to, we might not be able to go down that road. Um, we might have to sit here and, you know, try something else. Um, also to note, I'll probably be adding a couple stream games in as well, because I played this on stream. Uh, Twitch.tv slash for the win TCG. Same handle, just on the old Twitch side. Uh, I know I've been bouncing back and forth between Twitch and uh, YouTube, but I like the culture on Twitch, so yeah, we're there for now. <laughs> uh, a path to the peak! Oh no, that's a problem. Wait, a path in the lost box? Yay, 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 yay. Hey, that's unexpected. You don't see that in this, in, the, in this territory, you know what I mean? Not in my house, yeah? So right, we do have lost vacuum. That's kind of why it's there. Um, that sounded very condescending, didn't it? God, sorry, I didn't mean to sound like... Wow, do I sound like that sometimes? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's uh, that's what you call in the Twitch world aware. <laughs> anyway, glaciated well guaranteed, bro. Guaranteed hit. Watch this. Smack into the water. Beautiful. And let me just take a K on the Tina, nice and easy. Uh, what's going on? Thank you. Let's not let's not get buggy now, Chief. And we just got to discard two energy. 
uh, which means we'll probably go again next turn. Two prizes, nice and comfy. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't need an incredible board state. The deck kind of just plays itself a little bit, um, which is just... Wow! Did we just get two energy from the prizes? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I am such a terrible human being, man. I, I, I really am just, I just make things so, so, I'm sorry, I'm so annoying, I know. <laughs> I'm just having fun, bro. I'm gonna relax, bro. I'm having a good time, I'm having a good time. Uh, right, they're gonna sit here and play and try, and we're just, bro, we just auto, you know what I mean? That said, uh, the Star Requiem. Bro, they're at 10 already. Yikers. Yeah, ready for Star Requiem, lads and ladies. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go. Uh, if they don't Requiem this turn, that's going to be wild. Because if they keep this in the active, Lord knows I'm going to rapid freeze all my energy onto this Donny. The moment they come out of this team, I'm like, <laughs> smack it. What do you think we're top decking, eh? I would like to top deck an Adventures Discovery. That would be pretty good. I would like it. There's the Switch Cart. Bro, they are thinning. Through the deck. 11 in the Lost Zone already, bro. Wild, 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 wild. What are they lost zoning? Ay, caramba, stop at the path to the peak, brother. What is this, huh? What is this, huh? Fine. You have forced my hand, my friend. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think ahead here. That's KO range. That's retreat range. There we go. Sorted. Beautiful. So if they try and stick me in the active, I can retreat. Man said retreat. Just wanted to leave that for a second for you to deep that. Um, <laughs> retreat to this one. Uh, hope they don't do an escape probe. If they have an escape probe, it's the Yikers. But, you know, if they just go ahead and start right curing this curum, then we can come in and just Oko the Tina. You know, and hopefully get there. There's a Cole Res. They probably have the escape probe. Right? Three, oh, three down. Lost zone. Okay. Double check that. Switch cart. But they're digging, digging. Hey, deck out. <laughs> Where's their, um... There is currently no sign of... There's one recycler. Probably plays two, right? If they play one, it's pretty much game, in my opinion. No? They've got to play two, bro. Unless they're going this wild. No escape rope. Okay. Okay. Um... I think I'd just take the KO. Let's just take the KO, bro. For sure, for sure. We're operating on the path. That's not meant to happen, but it's here. It's happening. Oh, hello. Okay. Right, now they start Requiem, they're gonna boss me. Guaranteed, right? But it's fine, because I'm just gonna cure them and KO it. That's what's gonna happen. Get ready for it, get ready for it. Because if they boss KO this, right? What to do, they take three prizes. We come up, we just Irida for a cure and VMAX, attach energy, glaciated world. Oh, no, 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 we, well, well, we can't, can we? We can't glaciate it well, because it is fraud sitting here in the active. Outrageous. It's all right, we'll still take a KO. Watch it, we're good, we're good, we're good, for sure. Energy top deck. Uh, huh? We don't like that. Okay, we can survive the turn. Just saying. We could also uh, escape rope here. Just saying. Kyoga. Kyoga can cause... No, we've got the Mana Fee in play right now. That's a no-go. Um, I think... We work towards another. Ye. Okay. Let's do that. So I'm going to escape probe now to force Tina out of the active, right? We'll do that. And then we'll take a single prize with the Curum. We'll put this down. If they, could, they want to KO that, as yeah, that's fine. That can be bait. We'll take a prize here. Take no energy off. And then we just need an energy if they come up with a Giratina for game. You see that? I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Are you just getting on here? Cool. Just, yeah. No, we're fine. Got a notification on my phone. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it, even when it gets techie, somehow there's a way being found. That's the crazy thing, right? That's, that's the crazy thing about this deck. It's like... It doesn't make sense as to why it works. Also, there's the recycler. Okay, about to say, otherwise we would have won. But it just does. That's the thing that bugs me with it. It's like, we should, without a doubt, be losing this game like that. But we're not. 
Um, well, for the time being, of course, the Radiant Greninja is kind of correct because it actually puts us in range for one at KO with the Tina. We don't have a boss either. So what I might have to do here is manually retreat. Oh, that feels awful. Oh, now you're here. Hello. Talk about coming late to the party. Um, what's our HP? It is 240. Uh, I think I have to just retreat. Sounds stupid, but I think that's the best play. And then not evolve. Right? I think that's the best best play here. They're going to top deck, right? You know, how many resources do they have That Do they still have a boss? They probably do. Right? If not, we just win. All right, I'm sure they've used all their, their recovery now. We Gucci, right? There's the retreat. Okay. Uh-huh. And that's game. GG! <laughs> we played you, my friend! You thought you played me! Nah! Lugia! If it can meet Lugia... Do this, right? Uh, VIP, VIP. Do I get Ky Kyogre out early doors? I play two Kyogre. Can get one from prizes if it, you know, if it gets there. Screw it, fins out the deck, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, I can steal cards. Oh, would you look at that? More energy. Alright, attach! There we go. Uh, we're going first, so we can't use the first attack seeker. Unfortunately. But it's alright! It's okay! It's your Gucci, you know? Uh, are they going to leave Lugia in the active? If so, that's a bit silly. Bro, it's wild. I thought Kurum was dead. And now here we are. Look at me now, eh? Who'd have thought? <laughs> Who'd have thought? First attack with Vaporeon, what does it do? You don't need to just get some Cheryl's out and... Uh, see, I, 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 I get it, but... Honestly, I hear the Cheryl, I do hear the Cheryl. But there's a part of my brain that says no, and I don't know why, but I, I like to listen to my instinct at times, you see. But it... Mm, I, can't, I, can't, I can't articulate it. Mm, anyway. Uh, so the Vaporeon, put a Pokemon from your discard pile onto your bench, search for free water, and attach it to him. Oh, you're talking about... I'll have to look into that a bit. All right, anyway. Are we ready to start winning people? Definitely Adventures Discovery, right? We get the two, we get the free cure amount, and then because we play like 30 energy, we just accelerate to it and it's. <laughs> Alright, uh, it's increase, increase the odds. We don't do anything. So it's. I never thought. Ow. Raw Glaciating World could be like this, but here we are. Yeah, yeah, guaranteed. Guaranteed again? 100%? For sure. No! Yikes. That's alright. Attach. That's guaranteed KO and Lugia. They only draw one. Ugh. Um, vacuum's nice. All right, let's just get the KO. Boom, boom. Lovely. Easy, 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 easy. And they come in and I'm going to attack you now. <laughs> Sorry, my friend. You wait and see. Issue is, though, that is the one escape rope gone. So pivoting into our Kyogre is going to be difficult. So we'll have to maybe bench prep it. You and me. <sighs> There's Tyranitar. Can it KO? I don't think it can, right? It needs a lot to do that. We can want to KO this Lugia as well. We get four energy on it. We, we, we KO the Lugia. Bro, it's so, so powerful, isn't it? Judge? Okay, we're not we're not worried about that. We're not worried about that at all. I like that. I like that. I like that we get judged. We're like, and what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's quite funny. It is a bit wild, isn't it? All 
But he's still got the one Archeops. Yuck. That's a Yikers, my friend. Big Yikers, bro. What did, what did they hit on that aroma, by the way? <laughs> hey, Summer, watch the language, big man. That's funny, though. He can't OCO right now. No chance. I do win with Kyogre, yeah. I need to hit it. But I do just win with Kyogre. Right now. But uh, I need to get it out. I need to get the energy on it. I can't pivot right now because my only pivot is that one escape rope, right? Am I bugging? That's my only pivot, right? No? I think I just KO this uh, free, free turn. Yeah, we do that before energy attached for sure. Easy. Switching cups is quite cool in this, actually. I like the idea of just guaranteeing it. Uh! We hit it, we hit it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just gonna take the KO, bro. And then we'll Kyogre afterwards, it's fine. Guaranteed hit for sure, easy. Yes, lovely. Now we're silking. Oh yeah. Um... Uh. Yeah, I think that's our best bet for Arida. Two Kyogre. So they know we ain't playing. Yeah, Max Frost. Boom, 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 boom. Done. KO. Out you go, mate. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. How many belts does what Lugia play? I don't know. We're fine, bro. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Trust me. Trust me. We're good. We're good. We just KO everything. That's what it, we just we just KO. It's it's that simple. There's nothing else going on. We just take KOs. You know what I mean? I only I only need three energy. We'll hit that easily. Guaranteed, bro. Trust me. Just have faith. I do though. I really do. Like the idea of energy recycler. That seems cracked, right? If you need to guarantee the energies, recycle a bunch of energies you've discarded already with, with Curum and just dramatically increase your odds. Like, the recycler sounds juicy. A one would be good, no? Yeah. Especially with that. Ugh, that would have been it. That would have been guaranteed, bro. Like those two top decks, that was two waters. We would have had it. Don't be water. Aye. Here's what we do. We V-Star Power, right? Because we want to thin our deck as much as possible of any non-energy, right? We want to... Oh, there's a lot. Blech. 23, 14 of them energy. Bro, we got to hit it, right? There's, there's no chance we don't. Uh, Arida's probably better because we can Arida four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can Arida four water Pokemon an item, and then dramatically increase the odds of what we of, of getting what we need here. Come on, we hit it, we hit it, we hit it, bro, we hit it. Any day of the week. Oh! oh. Oh no! Oh no! Has it happened, chat? We failed both? Yo. Oh. It's all right. It's all right. It's cool. It's cool. We're good. We're chill. We're chill. We're chill. We're chill. Why not attach the Curum? You got to realize I'm coming for the juice, yeah? I want the Curum. I want the Kyoga. You know? The, or, you know what's funny? We call this Cur Curum, but we don't call this Kyoga. What's wrong with that? Why is this Kyoga? This should be Kyurum. Bro, if I promote Kyurum, we wouldn't have hit it anyway. 
You see? This is why. Yeah? You see this hindsight, yeah? It's got 2-0. Two zero. Two zero. It's 2020, bro. I saw this coming. I saw the Devaladon. And now all I've got to do is swing on the bench with the Kyogre and it's done. Easy. This would be a lot harder to KO. Oh, that's fine. This would be a lot harder to KO. But we'd have to, have to work for that. I just see the future, bro. <laughs> so now we promote the Kyogre, attach an energy, guarantee one of the hits, and we're done. We win. For sure. Thanks, James. Take care, man. Lovely meeting you again, my friend. And then, bro, we, we get all the energy of the discard. We're fine. Guarantee. Trust me. Trust me. We're good. We're good. Trust me. We're good. We're good. We're good. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. 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 And then all we need is uh, four, head, four, four energy. Guaranteed. Easy, bro. Oh, we win anyway. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We take these two out. Okay, I got... <laughs> I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be scared. I'm going to be scared. But we won. See? Hey. Call me Tord because I'm the best. Or well, Alex Shemax, I guess. No disrespect, bro. He's king. All right. Oh, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Just VIP pass, bro. Easy. Okay. This is Kyogre's time to shine. Yeah? This is Kyogre's time. For sure, this is Kyogre's time to shine, baby. It's just funny, we're probably playing uh, Rapid Estra as well. Have I ever played T? Have I ever played that Block Snorlax deck? Uh, no. Oh, we'll get this. Guaranteed KO. Okay, so they can hit me for what? 30, alright. Do I just build Kyogre here? Is that what I do here? I feel like I Forest Seal Stone, Adventures Discovery, and then just try and get Kyogre swinging. That sounds about right, right? They're going to strafe me, right? And then I'm going to KO both of them. <laughs> That's what's going to happen, bro. Trust me. He's going to hit them. He's going to hit them. Oh, they don't. I Okay, I back it. I back it. All right, Seal Stone. Um, let's go. Adventure Discovery for sure, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big time. All right, let's do that. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. And then we just smash it, bro. All we need is the one energy as well. Easy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we get greedy? Do we get greedy? Do we get greedy? Let's go for it. Okay, okay, okay. Aqua Storm? Easy KO, right? Ugh. Ugh. That's a yikers, bro. That's gonna happen though, isn't it? <laughs> it's gonna happen. It's alright, bro. It's alright. I'll KO this and then we come on. Do we just start swinging? You know? Um, well, well, this is this is why it's good to play two Kyogre, bro. You have another one come in, you know? And late game. And then just cause cause issues, you know what I mean? That's the beauty. You know? That's why we're okay. Although, uh, this is the, uh, this, this Urshifu deck's pretty good, bro. Honestly, I think we just gotta take two big knockouts. That's what we gotta do. We gotta, we just gotta take two massive knockouts before they do it to us. That's basically the, the, the goal, isn't it? They do, however, they have to take out this Kyogre, right? It's too much of a threat to ignore. They can't just sit here and... You know. Yeah, you'll make a charge, you cheeky bugger. That's an early bench. Bit aggressive, aren't we? I don't want to know if you're playing me. What, are you going to get Rapid Urshi? And they can find with... Have they used this yet? I don't think they have. Mm, no. I don't know if that shows or not. Um... Get another rapid energy and just swing. Oh, 
Okay, no, they just got that. And they can rapid for Karina? Maybe? Hmm. Oh, I missed it! Oh, they just got another Urshi. Bro, if Kyogre was allowed to just go rampant, this would be a wrap. <laughs> Bro, be done. But it's not that way, unfortunately. But thankfully, we're probably facing two big VMAXs that we can just 1-8K at one point. So, we just got to take Okos. That's what we got to do, bro. We got to get four energy on this bad boy. So, we got to hit both of these guaranteed Oko and just keep keep moving. That's not a good start. I don't like top decking energy because it there's a part of my soul that says that we're not going to get it on the, on, the, uh, on the glaciated world. But, bro, have faith. There we go. Insta KO, baby. Uh, 10 damage off? No shot, bro. Hey, we can't have that in these streets, bro. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to let him KO this, bro. That's rough. That is rough. Oh, no. Right, they're obviously going to gale thrust me here. Oh, they're going to strafe. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? They just... Eh? I don't think you know how that card works. Because, um... You're, you're not doing 150. You you have to switch bef after evolving. They can't get any more energy. They've just attached for turn. So they can't rapid flow here. They're just, they're just gonna do 30 damage, no? Am I bugging? Am I bugging? Hey. Think I'm bugging. Oh, they're gonna start pinging them, aren't they? Yeah. Aha. Now, what's kind of cool, completely unintentional though, is I kind of just rapid threes all of my energy into play, which is nutty, bro. <laughs> but all my hand is just energy. Plus creation, but yeah, bro, hey, you've just given me the source. I'm telling you. I have to do it once so I can attach next set. Bro, they're going to they're gonna keep me active and just rapid flow me. I saw it. I saw the play. I saw the play. I saw the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rapid freeze. So I can retreat it. I, that sucks. I would have loved to get energy onto both of these Kirim, but a smart player would keep this in the active as long as possible and just rapid flow, rapid flow, rapid flow game. That's what they would want to do. Uh, so to prevent that, I'm just going to get energy on the Kirim. If it gets KO'd, so be it. But it means I can retreat it and just swing and then go from there. Basically. I need one more energy on it though. <laughs> 10 HP, that is rough, bro. Give me a Zigzagoon. Where's the Zigzagoon when we need it, man? Ugh. I am 1,000 right now, 1,000 CP, Umbreon. Uh, am I 1,000? I think so. Right, that's a rapid flow, right? For sure. Thank you, thank you. Oh no, it's gonna go for us. Mmm. That's it. That means I can get an easy response KO without discarding anything, and then back. Yeah, 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 yeah. We win this for sure, man. Okay. That doesn't change much. Yeah, yeah, you take that. That's fine. Three prizes left for them to take. We can just KO instantly. So long as we face the free prize the next turn, we win. 
And they don't KO us, obviously. Cliched world. Okay. And again. Heads. Why am I saying heads, bro? It's saying a coin flip. I'm gonna put energy on here, right? Because if they well, if they get a KO, they win. But if they gust, right, it could be it could be dicey as well. So let's just do that, take the KO. And then next turn, I got with 30. We're done. We're easy. Big dubs, bro. Hello. There you are. Looking for you. Would have been sick, bro. We could injured for game. Like, if imagine if we hit like both of these, like 320, and then just grenade injured and swooped. You know? <laughs> Six prize, one turn. That's the YouTube title, you know. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too little, too late, my friend. I like this Kieran deck, and I, 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 I don't like the fact that I like it. It's it's pure degeneracy. <laughs> yeah. It's good fun. Nah, that's fine. Alex, I'm doing nothing. They, they, there's no way they can take a KO here. And even if they... Well, no, if they do, they win. But there's no shot they get a KO. That ain't happening. We just got to chill out. You know, take it easy. Let me Gucci. You know. See, I told you. Told you that was coming. Me, guess me up, and they can't do anything. Yeah, that's correct, right? Because it means I don't take the free prizes. Oh, they retreat. Oh, you see, my friend, I was prepared for this. All I got to do is attach, glaciate, glaciate. Well, just one glaciate would do it, but you know we're gonna hit them both because we just got that luck on off. Why did that? The shower. That sets up the two-hit KO. But, I'm sorry. The game is over. It is done. Because I could just retreat. <laughs> I forgot I could do that. There we go. <laughs> oh, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. I nearly messed up. But, I misplayed successfully. We're fine. Okay? It's fine. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Explode at you go, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Free prizes. What a beaut. GG's, GG's, GG's. Well, I uh, formally and genuinely apologize for raising awareness for such a card and such a deck. But uh, wow, was it interesting and fun to play. And is it going to be something that you're probably going to see more on the ladder now? Yes. Yeah. I think so. I think you'd be surprised to uh, not see this come up in the near future. It fits right into that category of like top tier rogue. We're talking, you know, you know when Lunatone and Sorok came about and the Kyogre deck came about. It's one of them kind of decks that, you, you know, you're just going to come up on a ladder at one point and go, oh, great, it's this one. <laughs> I'm so sorry because I may be writing my own, uh, my own demise here. <laughs> Nonetheless, such... A wild deck. Um, and just a straight ladder grinder. It's one of them ones, right? It's just grind the ladder with his Donny and, and farm wins. It's that that's what it is. It's a it's a farmer's deck. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna leave it there. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the creator of this deck, if you're watching, I, I I'm sorry if I didn't credit you. I don't know who created it. Can't find it myself. Um and I watched some random video on YouTube that someone linked me covering this deck who also didn't make the deck. So if you are the person who created it, leave a comment, let me know, because I'd, I'd love to credit you, but unfortunately, I just don't know. So I do apologize about that. I don't intend that in any sort of way to try and take any credit. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, mental deck. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream games too. Um, I'm trying. I'm going to try and stream more often. I, I just, I, I like the idea of just streaming a bit more casually, doing a bit more casual stuff on there rather than trying to make it a show and a big thing, you know, which is one thing that kind of put me off. Um, but yeah, check out um, twitch.tv slash TCG. I've got better TV, uh, 7 TV emotes now, so like some proper Twitch emotes in there for you to enjoy and take and take part in all, all the shenanigans. But anyway, I'm waffling. Leave it there. Yeah, subscribe. Remember, you match and you give yourself a keep away.